the state's battle against the coconut rhinoceros beetle is taking a different turn with new technology installed in the traps. Officials say it will be more effective and save taxpayers money. Manolo Ma Morales explains. The State Department of Agriculture set up more than 3,000 traps around Oahu as part of an ongoing effort to eradicate the coconut rhinoceros beetle. The invasive species is a threat to coconut palms and other trees. At one point, dogs were also trained to sniff out the bugs. But in January, the state said the battle has been too costly. We're in the process of finalizing a revised strategy with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, which will focus on containment on Oahu. That includes working with the University of Hawaii to develop a more efficient trap. It's basically a refinement of the same trap. We're just adding in a camera, solar panels to power the camera, a cellular modem to, to report information back to us, and some, something that tells us if it's fallen. Oishi says the new technology will not only provide more information, it will actually be cheaper to maintain these traps. This actually reduces our costs because right now we spend a lot of money on people, cars, and gas in order to check each of these traps, whether they have a beetle or not. He says the current traps cost about $800 a year to maintain, whereas the new traps will be about $200 to $400 a year. He says about a dozen new traps have already been installed and the plan is to replace all of them. Oishi adds that the idea is to get more details on how the beetles move around, find their breeding sites and destroy them. Another part of the strategy also includes making sure the bugs don't get to the neighbor islands. We're going to be expanding our operations on other islands in order to ensure that we have vigilance over our high priority areas that are likely to receive um, coconut rhinoceros beetle. As for the cost of the new strategy, Oishi says that is yet to be determined. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.